everybody. My kids are in the other room. It's about movie time for them, and so they're taking a break, and I thought I would tell you about a tradition in our family that has become extremely important to us, and it just kicks off the holiday season, and it starts October 1, and so that's why I wanted to do this video. If you've read my blog, you've probably heard about it, but it is this lovely green notebook. This is my holiday notebook my holiday planner there's lots of things in it it has grown over the years sometimes it's a monster with papers falling out i'll try to not have them fall out everywhere but this is the holiday notebook that i use starting october 1st we get it out and the first thing that i do is i open it up and i i do have to print off the um, pages some of the pages that go with it some of them do not need to be printed off but i do print a new calendar and a, um, a new holiday evaluation. So this is the 12 week holiday planner from Sherry Graham and Marilyn Mall and it is a digital download. They also have a download that is um, editable and I just use the one that I print off um, because I, I've just used that for years and so that's what I have. The first thing I do every year is print off the calendar pages and then I write in you know what month it is. I do October, November, and December. Um, sometimes I do January too especially if we're going to be having some holiday things in there as well and this is just you know then I fill in everything and I start writing in the stuff that needs to be added into each month. The holiday planner is divided into weeks and it gives you a plan for each week of what to do starting with the beginning of October. Like I said, we get ours out October 1st and I don't have to print any of these kinds of things anymore because I already I already have them in plastic page protectors and you know they just I've just kind of added to them throughout the years. One of my favorite things and the first thing that I pull out after the calendar pages is this page. This is the holiday self evaluation and here at the top we write down what our ideal Christmas would be like. So I gather all of the kids or all of the kids who have an opinion on things and I write down the things that would make their holiday special and the things that really stand out to them. There's the activities, there's where we put like our Grinch party that we have, and the looking at Christmas lights and eating ice cream from Brahms. We usually grab some like gingerbread shakes and peppermint shakes and we go look at Christmas lights, and those are the things that go in there. And then down here, um, I like to put some of the things that we do that really focus on Christ and bring our focus to Jesus. Um, so the things like our Christmas Eve service that I have available on the blog, that's something we do every single year. And that's something that my kids really, really enjoy. There are Thanksgiving menus and recipe cards. There's cards for um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. And so like here, what I've done is I've put some of the main recipe cards that we use. I also put um, some little anecdotes. So if you can see here, I like to write down, let's see if I can get this turned. So this is one of the things that Granny said when we were making this dressing one year. Um, I told her it looked like it had too many onions and she said, I don't think you can ever have too many onions. And so I wrote that down. There is just a little anecdote that goes along with this, a little story about Granny because someday Granny's not gonna be here anymore. And I, don't want to have missed out on those stories. There are planner pages for baked items that you want to share and give away, freezer meals, um, and then like ideas for gift giving and making your own things. And then I have added in pages like this is a rag quilt that I ran across some information on and so I printed it off and I put it in here. This is actually full of um, homemade gift ideas that I can pull out. 
decoration ideas. I think this is really fun. Um, I asked the kids again what some of their favorite decorations were. Um, my daughter a couple years ago had been begging us to get a lighted deer for the front yard. And so I just put that down that that was something she wanted. And we actually ended up finding one um, that was reasonable. And so that's how we decorated. And it helps me too to go back the next year and say, oh yeah, that's what we put in the windows. That's what we put in the front yard. My holiday planner also has a mishmash of things in it that I want to do for the holidays. So this is um, some stuff from the homegrown, homegrown preschooler that I printed off that go along with Unwrapping the Greatest Gift. Uh, that's Ann Voskamp's book. I actually just bought that. I had been using just her Jesse Tree devotional that years ago was free online. I mean like 2009. I think 2008 um, I got it for free and I've just been using that but I went ahead and bought the actual devotional and so this is something from the homegrown preschooler that they went through each of those days and I just went ahead and printed them off and they have um, different crafts that go along with it we also have another book um, truth in the tinsel that I have done in the past the kids were actually asking to do that again this year and then another thing I have is um, and this is really hard that's Katie but she wrote uh, milk the monkey and this is well this isn't very helpful but there's there's milk the monkey and um, this is a devotional that is like elf on the shelf only not so creepy and uh, much more Christian based so anyway elf on the shelf completely creeps me out I also have some Thanksgiving things here. Um, these, and I've just print these off. I can't even remember where this one came from. But um, I have, you know, make sure we do the blessing tree. This is a Thanksgiving walk that um, I tape these things to the floor. So I want to make sure that I do that. And then I have the names of Jesus here. This is something I got out of a magazine years ago. And so these are the names of Jesus. I like to go through those at Christmas time um, and then I think some of these are just some things that I have printed off over the years that are recipes and things like that that I just keep stored in here because you know where else am I gonna put them this is my holiday notebook so I just keep that holiday notebook out on the counter all throughout October November and December and I open it all the time. I look at it. I look to see what the next week is. You know, some weeks it's a list making of gifts that you need to get. There's a baking schedule where you can write down the days that you're going to bake things and freeze things. There's lots of ideas. And like I said, this is what I've been using for years and years. I believe I bought this the end of 2008. Um, my story that I always tell people with this is that Emily passed away, my our fifth daughter, our fifth child, passed away um, in 2008, the beginning, in uh, February. And when I finally got my feet back under me, one of the things that I wanted to do was start some traditions that were kind of new for our family because some of the old traditions were painful because they had involved Emily and I wasn't sure I could handle that. And I knew to get me through the holidays, I was going to need to have some new traditions. And I sat in on a, a call that was with Marilyn Mall and Sherry Graham. Um, Ann Voskamp might have been on it as well. I can't remember now, but I remember sitting at my kitchen table listening to them talk about this planner. And I went ahead and bought it right that second. Um, it's not expensive. It's a really cheap investment. For me, it has been amazing. It has created some amazing traditions in our family.